What is going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports Gematria. In this video, I'm gonna go over two college ranked games for Thursday, February 18th, 2021. I'm gonna show you both sides of each game and it will be up to you to determine who you think is gonna win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I am picking in these games, you'll have to join my Patreon where my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Let's get into today's games. We're going to look at Iowa versus Wisconsin, and then we're going to look at Ohio State versus Penn State. So first game, we're going to look at Iowa versus Wisconsin. Daily numbers on one side. Date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew. Game numbers on this side. Away team, head-to-head -head record, home team at the bottom. So today, date numerology of 16 on the Gregorian. Either one of these teams can get their 16th win for this season. So it's determining who is going to get their 16th win in this season. Wisconsin could get their 16th win for the season in their 16th conference game for the season. So that might be a little leg up for Wisconsin in this in this uh, area. 150 date numerology on the Hebrew Civil. Iowa coach would get his 150th loss as a coach for Iowa as it goes with it. Iowa would sit on 15 wins for the season in their 15th conference game for the season. So Wisconsin can get their 16th in their 16th conference. Iowa can sit on 15 in their 15th conference. And then you add in the 150 on the Hebrew. On the flip side, though, today does have 25 date numerology on the Gregorian, which sums to 149, and Iowa could coach could just sit on 149. Uh, as a coach for Iowa. Wisconsin would become 9-7 and seven for a conference record with the loss. 97, the 25th prime number. 25 sums to 149. In regards to the 15, it could be Wisconsin that sits on the 15 for the season. And the number 15 sums to 65. And Iowa would get their 65th head-to-head -head win against Wisconsin as the Wisconsin coach gets his 65th loss while sitting on that 15. 15 sums to 65. Now, with the uh, rankings, the rankings could change come game time tomorrow. So you'll have to keep an eye on that and just see if these numbers change and see how it reflects a potential outcome, win or loss, between these two. Iowa State, Penn State. Um, Penn State, it's their 18th game. Today is the 18th of uh, February, 2 slash 18. And in their 18th game, Penn State coach can get his 218th win. Iowa State, or oh, excuse me, Ohio State would sit on 17 wins for the season. With a loss, as Penn State becomes five and nine for a conference record with the win, like like fifty nine, the seventeenth prime number. Penn State could be evening up the score, evening up the score. Excuse me, evening up the score. <laughs> Penn State can tie, is what I'm trying to say. One one head to head against Ohio State. For the season with the win as Ohio State sits on 11 conference wins for the season. 11 is the fifth triangular number, I believe, or the fifth prime. I think it's the fifth prime. 11 is the fifth prime number. And Ohio State would get their fifth loss as they get their fifth conference. Penn State would get their 20th head-to-head -head win against Ohio State. And number 20 sums to 55, 5-5. Five, five. As they uh, get their five fifth loss and their fifth conference, sitting on that 11, 1-1 one, one head-to-head -head against. On the flip side, though, Penn State 18th game, Ohio State could just get their 18th win 
for the season. That could be that could be what it's for. Gregorian, uh, 41 date numerology. Ohio State would get their 41st head-to-head matchup, or excuse me, 41st head-to-head win against Penn State. Um, Ohio State coach, it's his 321st game. He can sit on 123 losses, 3-2-1, 1-2-3, reflections of each other, which would be kind of neat. And um, Ohio State, the current four seed, can sit on four losses for the season as they sit on four conference losses for the season, keeping Penn State on four conference wins for the season with the loss. So, um, hope this helps you guys. Definitely add more information on top of this if need be. And I wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks for watching.